acclimating in the sump all day. Temperature acclimating, waiting on the rations to go to sleep. Just added some tank water. You guys can see these things are jumping. Algae Barn Pods. Just add Be Easy to the promo code. Get 15% off the good old CJ discount. Now let's go ahead and get busy. Give you guys a quick tip. Adding pods, killing the floor, everybody knows about that, but what people don't do is use a good old turkey baster to, to add them to the tank. You can dump them in the water column up top, but why not help these guys out? Use a turkey baster and blow them into the cracks and crevices of the rock work. Help them find where they need to be a little faster. Instead of having to go through the water column and find their way swimming and all that stuff. So this is something that uh, I've been doing. Try to add the pods where I want them. Eventually they're going to go where they want to go, but why not try to cheat the process if you can. Then once this is all done, just rinse the, uh, rinse the bottle out, tank water, get any straggler that's left in there. And then that's it. So I've been reloading the tank with pods every month. For those that were wondering, um, I did it every week when I first started the tank. I have put over a dozen bottles of pies in this tank over the last six months, and I'm going to continue to do so. Keep the pie population going. All the rasses, you know, these things eat algaes and dinos and detritus and all kinds of things. It's just a good thing to do with your tank. But yeah, we are pretty much pretty much done. That's all the ones I want to hand squirt into the tank. The rest of this bottle, we're going to aim right for the top of that peak. So these guys can focus in and do what they need to do. That is going to be it for how I add pods to the reef tank. Catch you guys next time.